Is everyone ready? Camera one? Camera one. Yep. The blue light. Hey, Mr. Backhand here again. All you YouTubers out there and badminton players out there. Um, coming at you one more time. We've got another email from uh, to give to you here. And it's from... Okay. It's from, it's from, it's from... Um, Andrew Groves uh, from Palo Alto, and that's in California. Um, he writes, uh, hello, Mr. Backhand. Hey, buddy. How are you, Mr. Groves? Um, we love your videos, dot, dot. Cool. I'm glad you like them. I'll try and put some more up. Um, the raw footage is, is certainly uh, helping you out. Um, just be aware that the camera is adding uh, 60 pounds. <laughs> and uh yeah it's the wife's good cooking that's what it is uh and we need some help here we go my children play but as you said they struggle they love playing but are getting disheartened yes okay and they're getting disheartened um we have coaches um helping with their badminton swings dot dot but it's not improving dot dot are we doing something wrong okay now without okay without being there and seeing that but looking at that um mr grows very 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 simply um you you've got the word badminton swings here um whether that be your terminology or someone else has given you that terminology, but in badminton, you don't swing. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you out there right now are going, what, hey, hang on a second. No, you don't swing a badminton racket. Um, and that's where m most people, 99% of people go wrong, is that they're actually swinging the racket, whether it be forehand, backhand, whatever it is, and it's... um. And it will always frustrate you because that is what you're doing. Um, when the video comes out, um, then you'll then you'll be able to understand what I mean when I say that. Now, um, so yeah, uh, once once your children understand and you understand especially um, what it is that makes the power shot, uh, whether it be your backhand or your backhand drive or your 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 any shot any shot related to power and badminton. Um, 60 to 70 percent of it is about power and just levels of it so that's that's where you're getting frustrated and and much most, most coaches don't know this um uh I, I would have to honestly say to you that um the only coach that i know of um unless there are other coaches that i don't know of but would be if you could get a hold of him um the best coach in the world would be a guy called mulio handoyo Mulio Handoyo, uh, to me, uh, would be the father of modern badminton today. There's no question about it. Um, Mulio, if you're watching this video, uh, you were right. You've always been right. You're right then and you're right now. So for the whole world not to listen to someone like this is, is you know, it's pretty poor. I mean, there should be a bronze statue of this guy literally in every single hall in the badminton world. And people say, well, who is this guy? Well... He was Torfix coach, um, and even though you've got the even though you've got the the champions, you know, like these legends like Torfix and Lindan, and Lin Chong Wei, Peter Garde, and um, I mean, uh, who was the biggest smasher? I mean, you, you had your you had your Lim Sui Kings, your Morton Frost, around in my day, and then after that, and one of the biggest hitters in the world was um, Simon Archer. I mean. Gee whiz, <laughs> I don't think, you know, if Simon Archer was going to take a pot shot at you, you, you you'd duck. There's no question, you'd, you'd duck. So, um, but then uh, the, the thing is that um, badminton has become uh, more modernized. Uh, when I play, um, I'm, I'm not essentially a badminton coach. I, I'm a player, but I just use science, and that's what I do. So what's on the video um is a science and it's science that you can all use. So especially for you, Mr. Groves, and especially for your children, um, once you understand uh, the, the scientific formula that, that's on there, um, 
you will uh, you will jump up and down for joy, and your kids will no longer be disheartened. So yeah, so don't swing um, because you you've got here we have coaches helping um, with their badminton swings. So intentionally or misintentionally, you're using the wrong word there. So you don't swing in badminton. I know it looks like you do, but you actually don't. Okay, um, right. So that's that. But yeah. You know, for sure, if you could ever get a hold of Mulio Handoyo, then it'd be worthwhile sitting down with him. Um, uh, he lives in Indonesia somewhere. And uh, if you could get him and 30 minutes of his time and a cup of coffee, uh, I'm sure that um, I'm sure all your problems could be solved. If you can't get a hold of him, there's always me. So do we think the same? Um, yes, we do. I'm able to put it into a scientific formula, which you can all understand. I don't know if he can do that or not, but... Uh, I can assure you that we would think pretty closely the same. Okay, um, right, I had another question here from um, Teresa some time back. And Teresa um, said, what's on your book? <laughs> now, Teresa, this is the book you're talking about, isn't it? Um, what's what's on the book? Well, okay, I'm going to tell you what's on the book. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, uh, to give it to you. Here we go. So, uh, all the things that coaches have told me, uh, in, in my years from around the world um, that are the keys to power and I can assure you that none of these are true but they keep trying to push these on me all the time and it's still not uh, it, it doesn't matter it's a bit like um, <laughs> it's a bit like gravity just because you don't believe in gravity doesn't mean you're going to float off the planet so <laughs> badminton science is is true uh, just because you you know you, don't, you want to stick your head in the ground and not see it doesn't make it not there um, okay, so these are the things that I've been told. Um, it's your grip. These, these Olympic players, it's the grip. It's not the grip. Um, it's the racket. It's, it's not the racket. Um, mind you, some these modern day rackets are, are really, really nice to hit with. Um, a little bit, but that's not really, you know, no, you put any racket in my hand. As a matter of fact, I've shown you a video, I think, um, Paul, one of, one of, Paul's questions was to me was to, you know, is it the racket? And I've, I showed him I hit the same sort of shot with different rackets, so it's not the racket. Is it the strings or the combination of the strings, the tightness, you know, the tighter it gets, more powerful? No. Um, but you do get more control as you get tighter. I mean, I play with 32 pounds, BG85 string. Um, so when, when you say 32 pounds, it's, I think it's 32 across, and I think um, Richie, my stringing guy, um, Really nice guy. Um, he strings uh, 32, 30. I'm pretty sure, which is um, which is what I've got. Um, is it the sh is it the special shoes they wear? No, it's not the special shoes. It's shoes and normal shoes. Rotation of the body. Um, no, that's not the key to power. But it can help. It can help a little bit on the forehand side. But no, rotation isn't really what you want. Um, do do do. Special clothing. No, it's not special clothing. Um, I'm reading from this book. Mind you, if I hold it up like this, perhaps it'll help. Uh, right, um, the length of the grip, how, how far you hold your grip down, no, it's, it's not that. The type of the grip, whether it's um, toweling or rubber, no, it's, it's not that. Um, sometimes actually the, the, the handle, the, the, the stuff's come completely off and I've been playing and I've just left with the wood and I've, I've just gone with that. Um, your, it's your footwork, no, it's not your footwork. Uh, the releasing of fingers, no, it's, I see people releasing fingers and trying to tighten them up and all sorts of things. No, it's not the releasing of fingers. It's not what you need to know. Uh, snapping the shuttle across, I don't know why I've got that. Snapping the shuttle, oh, some people say, saying sort of, sort of turn your racket over and you're snapping it. No, that's not what it, what it is. Kinetic energy, no, I know what kinetic energy is. It's, it's when you're sort of, you know, all your muscles and all your joints sort of um, one after the other provides... Provides the shot. No, it's not that at all. Um, it's not what you need to know. Uh, it's because I'm big. Well, yeah, I'm I'm six foot, um, and uh, and the camera adds uh, sixty pounds. <laughs> so for all you the all you that are writing in and saying uh, you need to lose some weight, yes, I do. <laughs> I'm Mr. Backhand, not Mr. Fitness. Gee. Um, it's the type of shuttle that I'm using, uh, Olympic shuttle or, or tournament grade or club grade. No, it, it's not the type of shuttle. Uh, it's, it's the powder that I use. Oh, I, they're talking about the powder that you put on the, the handle. Is it the powder? No, it's not the powder. Uh, it's technique. Well, of course it's technique, but what, <laughs> what does that mean? You know, when you watch the video, you'll understand. Um, 
that it's is it technique oh actually no because I, I provide different technique for different different angles so i'd have to say i'm sorry but you're just not that's just not accurate um oh here's my favorite here's my favorite everyone thinks it's twitch fiber um it's not twitch fiber come on get it give me a break um oh here's a good one pronating or supernating uh no that won't give you power at all um i think that that's just as i keep saying it, it's a buzzword that coaches like to use to try and wow you um you know if you can't dazzle them with brilliance baffle them with bullshit and of course those two words are straight away sound flash and it kind of gets the young kids into Ooh, really let's try and do that uh no as a matter of fact if you do that um for certain shots uh you can destroy the shot and uh and no that's not what kids or or, any, or not kids but any student needs to hear um people say it's a feeling what does that mean it's a feeling golly um uh, it's the sound how can it be the sound you know these honestly this is these are real bona fide coaches that have told me how power is achieved bona fide serious coaches where they've gone to coaching school i have no idea um it's the sweet spot it's not the sweet spot oh well, you know, you got to hit in the center of the racket, but, you know, I mean, I hit it, I miss it all the time, and, I, and I'm, I'm still able to clear it. Um, it's the type of head, oh, being straight or uh, sort of squared or rounded off. Uh, no, it's not that at all. Uh, it's the hall I'm playing in, uh, the temperature, you know, hot, hotter halls, colder halls. But upon saying that, yes, if it's a cold hall, the shuttle will fly slower, and, and a lot of you have experienced that. But no, that's not that's not the um, trick to power. Just sort of playing in a hot hall, you know, and then then you you sort of somehow touch the shuttle and it, and it flies, <laughs> it flies at a million miles an hour. That's that's just inaccurate. Um, your timing, yes, I can tell you now it is timing. It certainly is timing. Uh, but what are you trying to time? That's the that's the crucial thing. Um, somebody told me years of practice, guys. I can do this in ten minutes. It doesn't take years of practice. Um, and that was, yeah, I remember who told me that and, uh, really that's, that, that's a real advanced coach telling me years of practice. Golly. Um, DNA. Really? DNA? Do I look like I have brilliant DNA? Um, no, I don't have, I, I, pretty, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> no, I, I don't have good DNA. I'm, I'm as normal as you guys are. Um, some people, you say you've got to get behind it more. No, as a matter of fact, I let the shuttle fall behind me um, quite often, uh, and that is not the key to power. So when you get told these things when you're young, or get behind it, get behind it, you can hit it harder. That's not true. That's just some coach telling you something that he doesn't understand, and he's trying to make you believe it. And be very, very careful when you're coaching children, especially, or anybody for that fact. Um, when you got to think about this. A student will take in the first thing that they're told. Anything after that doesn't, it's really irrelevant. So what happens if you tell them the wrong thing? And then they, they keep practicing. I mean, if I say to you, practice makes what? You know, a lot of you are going to say perfect. I'm, I'm going to say no, not at all. Um, practice makes permanence, effectively. If you practice a mistake, you're just going to end up making a perfectly good mistake, which is um, which is what 320 million of you are doing. So, and to a certain degree, a lot of the coaches that that go out there and sort of say do this, do that, um, you know, you should you should quite seriously show some shame for what you're doing. Um, I, I I don't believe um, you know that a lot of these coaches know what they're doing, and and they really just muck a lot of people up. I mean, if I go back to Mr. Groves's uh, email here. Um, yeah, he's got coaches saying, you know, helping with the badminton swing. Um, you know, they're, they're frustrated, they're struggling. You know, coaches are there to help you. So, so maybe, maybe a coach, coaching is not what people need. Maybe what coaching, or maybe what people need is, is, is a player that is, is, can coach like me using science, um, rather than just opinion. Because that's, I don't, um, I don't use opinion. Uh, it doesn't mean anything to a badminton player. They need knowledge, and they need and they need a lot of it. Um, reading from my book still. Here we go. Um, it's your setup. Not really. No, no. I, I can take the shot from wherever it is. It's the brand of racket I'm using. No, it's not the brand of racket. Uh, 
the shuttle position. You're getting to it early. No, not really. Um, it's my follow through. No, it's not my follow through. My whip back. My whip back? Why have I written that? Oh, the, the whip. Some people say, oh, you whip back. No, it's not a whip back. Um, and, uh, and it's my footwork. Guys, I tell you now that I've never done a shuttle run in my life. Uh, sure, shuttle runs will help you, or get, getting fit will help you, but you, you know, you, you can do side steps all you want and run backwards and forwards all you want, but let me assure you that you, you can be fit, uh, and yeah, at the top level, you've got to be fit to be able to play badminton and play it, and badminton doesn't necessarily make you fit. <laughs> it can puff you out more than anything. Um, but no, that's not what you need for power, and all of these things have been told to me by bona fide international um, and some national coaches, and, I, and I'm really, really surprised at some of this um, when I actually have given my data to scientists and then they will turn around and bona fide what I think, which is exactly the same way as Mulio Handoyo thinks. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm sorry, a lot of you coaches are just dead wrong, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna boldly say that. So, um Mr. Groves, coming back to you, um, your children are frustrated, wait till the video comes out, the scientific formula will be on there in diagrammatic form, um, it's just going through the checks and balances now before we upload it, uh, we have to do that, uh, And uh, but it is um, it is a pity here that you're saying that your, your children are getting disheartened, yeah, it can, it can happen very, very quickly. Uh, to help you out, one of the things um, that's, that's on the video for you uh, Mr. Groves, is the fact that you are playing with a shuttlecock, and a shuttlecock, whether it be plastic or feather, generally they're feather, uh, goose or duck, but generally goose, is that they are, you are playing with aerodynamics, whether you like it or not, uh, and you are, um, you know, you, you are playing with something that, that really doesn't like being hit, it, it's, it's just, the shuttle is there and it's made with um, copious amounts of drag on it. It's, it's a conical shape. Uh, and and if, you're not, if you're not really up to understanding that you are playing with aerodynamics, then that's one part of the equation that you'll just fail at. The other part of the equation, of course, is the secret to power, which is um, what you can download. But when you combine these two elements together... Now you're starting to hit like guys like Torfik. Now you're figuring out how he's doing it. Now you're figuring out why these Olympic players, when you see them, they're just standing in the middle of the court and just don't seem to have much, you know, much, um, much of a weakness. Whereas you'll go out and do it, and of course you'll run around and and you'll just be picking up the shuttle more than you'll be hitting it. So yeah, it, it does happen. Um, but please. Um, Please don't throw your rackets out just yet. Watch the video, download the video, um, and uh, and Mr. Backhand can help you. Uh, that's me. Uh, I And I can and will help you. There's no question about it. Uh, I've got a lot of emails very, very similar to Mr. Groves' here. Um, we've gone through a whole lot of them. Um, a lot of your emails are still um, asking much the same question. You know, please help, please help, please help. Watch the video when it comes out. Um, some of you are asking about um, the rackets from Alibaba, uh, not Alibaba, from AliExpress, um, and you know they're saying, you know, what sort of poundage can I put in that string? Well, my rackets, uh, my other rackets have arrived about a week ago, and let me assure you that I that I take them straight into um, the pro shop, and uh, I get them strung at thirty two pounds, and they're fine, and no, they don't break, and they don't snap, and they don't do crazy things. They they work just fine. Um, gee, what else is there? I think that's about it for now. Um, and yeah, I, I hope that your kids keep playing badminton. It's one of the greatest sports on earth when, when you know what you're doing, and um, and it, it's not much fun when the when the oppos when the opposition is is beating the beating the hell out of you, and uh, and you really don't know what you're doing, and you're just um, you're just guessing the whole time and pretty much experimenting the whole way. So yeah, um, but Mr. Groves, yeah, the, the video that I have is in two parts. One is on a shuttle uh, dynamics and the other one is on uh, is on the secrets to power. And when you put those two components together, uh, you'll be hitting like the world champions very, very quickly. Uh, and, um, and that's it, yeah. 
All right. Well, that's it for me. I've just um, I've just been out and thought I'd come back in and uh, check these uh, check these emails, and I'll, I'll keep going through them tonight as, as I'm up I'm up a little bit. Um, and that's it for now. So this is Mr. Backhand saying, if I can do it, Mr. Groves, your kids can do it. And that's all for now. All right, everyone, enjoy your batty and have a great day. Okay, so let's have a bit of a look. Should have been a singer. You still here? <laughs> yeah, I know.